Hey guys, Dan here and welcome back to another video and another reaction. And today we're going to be reacting to the trailer of The Scratch Universe Capsters. This is a video that was made by Blackmas and I had no idea that Blackmas was working into a new The Scratch Universe uh, side series or side video. I only knew that he was working on The Slice of Life uh, Now Episode 7 that is already released and you guys can go check it to the channel. I did a reaction to that. So I am excited. I hope that you guys are also excited. Please be sure to give a like on the original video before watching the reaction. And now, without any more further ado, I'm ready. You guys are ready. Let's go. Click. Planet Earth. Our little personal space in the Milky Way. Oops. Big galaxy. Sorry. Inside this tiny planet, you got a massive server network that basically creates copies of every piece of land in this blue sphere. In theory, we have thousands of Earth's worth of copies. Our story lies in a particular one. The okay. one where I proudly call it my home. Go on. Within uh, the Portugal region lies our home, our network, and our servers. <laughs> Things are quite different here. For you see, uh... You know what? I'll just let the footage speak for itself. Okay. Blackmas presents the Scratch Universe side series. So it is a side series. Capsters. Oh, fire and ice on the onto the logo. Oh, demo flower. Uh. <laughs> There's so much that I. Uh... Oh no. Dude, this looks like an RPG. <laughs> and here we go. I am a god. Hi god. I'm I'm Dan. <laughs> Doctor? Yeah? Pardon my interruption, but the transmission has run out of time. What? Yep. You guys only had the 10 seconds. This story is about my two newest students and all them adventures they go through with their capster teams. All of it full of discovery with a ton of sprinkles of fun and chaos. All of that and a little bit more in our little humble abode. Our home. Tuga. Discovery awaits us all, partners. I had a feeling that we were going to go into this direction. It's a Pokemon parody. Yes. <laughs> no problem, Black Miss. Let's see if there's any Easter eggs. No, doesn't seem to have any strikes by the end. But let's just make sure. Any voice lines? No. Oh, there's so much to talk about into this. I, I really didn't expect this to be a Pokemon uh, type of uh, parody or series. Only just uh, halfway after when I started to see like uh, the more diverse creatures. And I soon started to realize that maybe this whole music was uh, a reference or came straight from uh, a Pokemon game. But really, Blackmas, I would say that's a very crafted and very, very cool idea. I never imagined that you would put like a, an universe inside another universe into your series like this. And uh, what better way to do it into the Scratch universe where it's already established that uh, you have games and mini games inside of the universe since this is an adaptation of the, I would say, the Valve or the TF2 universe alongside another references. But imagine this, imagine you go into a friend and say, oh, do you know TF2? Yes, I know TF2. Did you know that there is this uh, Portugal YouTuber that made a JoJo parody series into this TF2 world? And inside of it, there is a TF2 Pokemon parody inside of it. <laughs> I would not believe if I heard that. But uh, since it's you making Blackmas, I know that it's going to be fantastic. And there's just so many references that I just want to be able to look with you guys. So, as always... Now that we're finished with the reaction itself, let's go ahead and just uh, dismember this amazing piece of uh, SFM and uh, 
and trailer and let's see whatever we can find and comment on about it please be sure to already leave a like if you didn't yet link down below so let's go to start off i was about to look at this and say oh look there, there's africa but i didn't i didn't oh also there the milky way of course and uh, it's fitting that the engineer is gonna say that but i really didn't see the joke of portugal coming which i'll comment about soon enough but when you say inside this tiny planet you got a massive a massive server network that basically creates copies of every piece of land in this blue sphere so yeah this can be a reference to many things it can be just a reference to the tft universe to say that uh, you can make a copy of different servers and uh, just uh, apply them some so people can play it can also be a reference to just the tf2 universe that blackman has established with the scratch universe where you are not the only of yourself per se there are many copies and many entities and beings and other individuals that can share the same body as you so you are just uh, differentiated yourself by your clothes and by your own personality that you will develop a long time and the world has its own uh, own story this can be also be a reference to just uh, po uh, to the pokemon uh, say or knowledge you know like be about servers and the creating a world that will be individualistic by the person that plays it each time you know the world can be the same but uh, the people that will interact with it will make it different or just to say that this world the world can be like a more almost like a vr type of thing which i think is the least probable into my comparison that i just did but really it's just so cool that blackmas can just pick the knowledge of this being a not a complete fake world but a world that lives by its own rules like uh, making copies of uh, of itself so people can just travel between these worlds to play or to just live there this is very cool and something that i already praised blackmas once again and once again but uh, the world building that it does just feels so natural and there's just so much to talk about uh, in this little phrase right here so this is amazing let's continue tiny planet. you got a massive server network that basically creates copies of every piece of land in this blue sphere i wonder like uh, how big would that have to be really to just to uh, keep uh, multiple copies of every single place on the planet Mm -hmm. and it took me such a long time to discover that angel was doing a professor oak parody so i wonder what's gonna be his name i don't think it's gonna, gonna be professor angie because blackman usually makes more uh more uh, diverse and uh, more uh, creative names more names that are way more creative than i would ever come up for a thing like this so i am very excited to see what name he will choose Within the Portugal region lies our home. As soon as you did Blackmas, you saw that I did a little uh, like this. Like, uh, it's true. The Portuguese man himself needs to cite Portugal just as the Brazilian man needs to talk about Brazil. Respect. But uh, no talk in Portuguese, Blackmas. Portugal region lies our home, our network, and our servers. Things are quite different here. Do you see, uh... Mm. Let the footage speak for itself. This is so cool. Once again, I just love the, the little details for the A and the K on the logo. And also, I love the Scratch Universe logo. I wonder how many episodes this is gonna have. Capsters. So, I can maybe presume that uh, Soldier will go with a fire type team and Scout may go with a, uh, with a water type or a nice type team. That would be cool to see. I was not the greatest uh, uh, player of Pokemon growing up. I just watched the anime. And here we got Demo Flower, a reference to Costa Moinen. We got a Pyro B, which I do not know if it's from Costa Moinen. We got a... Oh, I forgot this, but this is from ST Black ST, at least from what I know of, of what I've seen before. Oh, Soup Can uh, Pyro. Yeah, that's Soup Can Pyro. And we got a Scout Flower over here. I don't see many references. And I really want to keep a close eye to anything that I can catch. Oh, here goes in the Scout to, call the, to say that the Pyro suck. Let me just try to see and confirm. Yeah, that's a Pyro B. We got a few Spy Crabs. We've got a Scrumpy Pyro, Bottle Pyro. And it's good to see that we have many variations of the Spy Crabs. And here we got a... Uh, 
a sniper dial, uh, a Kronko sniper, because you guys can see that that was the head that uh, can be used as a skin for sniper in Halloween. A uh, lot more soup can pyros, we got uh, a conch pyro, and this is actually kind of cool, seeing that this pyro actually found a suitable home from the ocean, not a bucket. We got uh, these things, whatever they are. Really, these, these pyros, they're just so creepy with the eyes and the mouth. I do not know if they're gonna have actual personality, but this one is the creepiest one. This one's the 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 more I would say crazy one. This one's the more chill one, and this one is just uh, there. It's the leader. And as soon as I saw this, I knew that there was gonna be a type of RPG environment to this whole thing about exploration. And uh, maybe this is a reference to Pokemon itself because. As far as I know, aren't there a few games that you can actually go into haunted mansions to fight uh, ghost types and to get uh, ghost type Pokemons? So this would be interesting to see. But I think there's a direct reference to some game that Blackness played. But I thought that maybe this was going to be an actual uh, maybe RPG story with swords and uh, things like that. Just because of these two medieval knights uh, structures here. But I'm excited to see what that's going to be about. I also thought, as soon as I saw these creatures right here, there's a type of Atlantis type of environment, that this could be uh, a more like a World of Warcraft type of world history, just because of to have the chance to explore this. And uh, my contact with World of Warcraft has been very simple. I watched a few YouTubers here and there doing live streams about it. But what I also truly remember about it, it's uh, watching... Uh, a series of videos called I think a League of Legends a League of Legends player plays uh, World of Warcraft which is a story of Rav the Avatar and the, some of the scenarios here just really really remind me of World of Warcraft once again we got the pyro being used as much as they can to the skins and the damn they're just chilling just a just a lava baiting maybe they're they're doing the flip <laughs> this guy I think that uh, is this a reference to Ice Age or is this a reference to like uh, uh, Surf's Up? Because I think that in both series there is a moment where there's someone standing in uh, in ice, especially in Ice Age 2 and Surf's Up where they're just standing to like thin ice and they just go. So Blackmas, if there's a reference to something like that, uh, please tell me which one it is. If I got it right or got it wrong, I would love to know. And there's a few, there are a few uh, pyros doing the conga. And this this guy right here, did you guys notice this detail that uh, he did a flip, his buddy fell down, he was so excited, but as soon as he realized that his buddy was kind of hurt, he went. Do you guys see that? And uh, this is supposed to be Giovanni, and uh, there's just so much to talk over here. We got this bot sniper just floating here as a drone. We got the uh, fem robot pirate just take care of the plans. A group of ng bots take care of the net worth. We got a reference to the to that. Oh, I forgot the name, but that Russian game where there is the two Soviet robots that one, everyone kept uh, dreaming and simping about. We got this uh, spy right here, which I think is going to be a a boss for the capsters to defeat. And also very cool with the rapier. Is that an actual? Uh, Portuguese raper that you select the black mess because uh, I went to a few uh, I went to a few medieval fairs and by my way of uh, handling a sword or a larp weapon I feel like I would be with a rapier because I just pretty much prefer to have this distance and to try to poke the enemy instead of just trying to go at it and uh, do a few uh, heavy swings so I think that uh, the rapier is a very elegant weapon that would be maybe my weapon of choice if I had the chance. And here we have this medic. And as soon as I saw him, he really much, uh, he very much remind me of uh, Dr. Lau's uh, crazy medic. And also the heavy bots just went flying away. Oh, wait, let's go back to this real quick. So he wears a hockey mask. And now I'm a little bit confused. Is that a, a spy or a, a scout uh, skin for the for the guy with the rapier? Part of my interruption, but with the transmission has run out of time. Yeah, you cannot monologue the, through the whole transmission. And Blackmas, was this your voice or was this uh, a guest voice? Because I know that for 
Force Bulky's girlfriend into the Scratch Universe, he used a guest for the dubbing. And here we go. And another. Okay. Nice. All of that and a little bit more in our little sprinkles of fun. Oh god damn, there's a little skin error right here. God damn it keeps uh, flashing. I hate uh, when that happens in a map that I'm exploring. All of that and a little bit more in our little humble abode. Our home. Tuga. 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 I am not a Pokemon player, so I do not know if Tuga is a reference to a specific region. I think I only know about the Kanto region, but uh, that's it. And uh, one last thing. Really, there's always a scout in any TF2 animation, especially Blackmas animations. I think that for the Scratch Universe, there's a Fixer, Jumpsuit, there's p -Rick, there's the Scout Bot, there is a Blackmas, or that agent that I always call Blackmas. So there's already five different scouts on that, and here's another scout character for his universe. So yeah. And, uh, and I still question myself, why are you a spy man? Why is your avatar a spy man? It should be a scout blackness. You just, you just use them so much. And there's Professor NG. nice i am very excited for this i'm sorry that i could not watch on the day that it came out black Mist, but uh, i'm very happy that i watched this and this time i didn't even turn this into a 20 minute video so guys thanks so much for watching please if you did not do already just go ahead and give a like to the original video black Mist deserves it and uh, thank you for coming i also really appreciate the fact that even though i'm a uh, a little bit low with the video there's still so many people return to the videos or just dropping to say hi into a few of the more recent ones so yeah oh thanks for coming thanks for staying i hope that you guys have a good time and blackness remember no speaking portuguese bye see ya i also would like to give a big thank you to my patron titan mark zero one thank you for tuning to support the channel and i'll see you guys next time bye